Hey guys, here always in VTXreviews.com. This is just a video first preview look. I'm going to come up with a review later of the Samsung S30 and 390. This is actually a handset on a prepaid track phone network in the United States. So it's very inexpensive, very cheap, and very low cost. Uh, the big news here is for track phone users, this is actually one of the only handsets with Wi-Fi built in. So it actually is not just a regular, you know, kind of dumb phone or multimedia phone. It actually includes a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a GPS. So it's actually very similar to um, a more higher end smartphone with of course, it doesn't have as many features or as powerful of an operating system. Still, Samsung is including a 400 megahertz processor, which is quite large, um, and to be honest, for just a multimedia handset. But this means that the device is very speedy when browsing the web and also for most Java games and applications. The front of the device is dominated by a 3.6 inch TFT LCD display uh, with pretty good color res re resolution and saturation as expected from Samsung, a earpiece, and down below here we have a track, uh, optical trackpad, which allows us to navigate through the UI. Um, and Another pretty cool feature. Uh, we like how there's a mouse feature on the web browser, which is also nice. Uh, there's two soft keys and talk and end keys that dubs as a keys for turning the device on and on and off. It's a brush and aluminum feel, and the buttons are risen above the surface, and they're pretty easy to press because they're so very large. Below here is the, style, the QWERTY style keyboard. Again, it's a little bit reminiscent of some BlackBerry devices out there. The big difference here is, however, is that Samsung doesn't have domed keys. As a result, the buttons are kind of straight up and down, and they, they do take a little bit more acclimation. And at first, we did have a little bit more uh, lack of accuracy. We did have a little bit more issues with um, actually calling people at first because, again, the keyboard isn't as you know sensitive as easy to press. Um, but over time, you'll be able to get used to it because the buttons are risen up the surface, so they are pretty nice and easy to press. They are tactile. Tell they are backlit, so in dark environments you will be able to see them. The left hand side device features a volume rocker, which we're always excited to see, a linear cord, and of course, we have a micro uh, SD card slot located right here by the door, which is a great feature. You don't have to remove the back cover to swap out cards for camera features, for multimedia features, you know, for taking pictures with a camera, which is great. On the side here is a slot for, uh, which features a micro USB for charging and syncing the device. The top features a 3.5mm headphone jack for listening to music. The back uh, is a traditional Samsung back, which is this plastic matte finish. Uh, it's a kind of soft touch material, so it's easy to grip and it resists fingerprints, which is always nice. Up here is a 3.0 megapixel fixed focus camera. Um, it doesn't, it's not the best camera in the world, it's not autofocus, but there is an LED flash. Uh, yet it does take pretty decent shots for what it does, and uh, it takes basic VGA quality um, uh, videos, which is also pretty nice, 15 frames per second, so for quick MMS uh, sending over the air, I think it will do the job, again, because this is a prepaid phone, and the fact that you can pur purchase this phone for a uh, very, very inexpensive price of only $70, with all these features of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, it is, you know, very, very cool, um, and very, very interesting. Now, from the back, this device, the Samsung S390, actually almost seems like one of Samsung's touchscreen smartphones, which I found to be quite interesting. Uh, there's a speaker on the back as well, you can't even really, really differentiate it, it's also quite slim and very pocketable. Overall, the hardware of the device is very good feeling. It feels very solid in the hand, and our initial impressions were very, very good. Um, and overall, we're pretty impressed, again, with 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 uh, the feature set built here, especially with the price tag, and there's a proprietary OS, which is always exciting to test out, um, getting used to kind of all the standard UI like Android. Uh, this is kind of a treat. Uh, opening up the back cover, again, we have access to the battery, and of course, uh, there's a SIM card behind the back cover as well. Uh, this is a GSM variant of uh, the track phone devices on here, so if you get this unlocked, this also is a quad band GSM world phone, which is also, again, a pretty compelling reason to get this device. So overall, this is a pretty interesting phone. We're going to get it in the, in the labs and test it out, come out with a full written review with uh, a video review as well of uh, how the web browser works over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But thanks for watching here at OSMVTXReviews.com, a first video preview of the Samsung S390. Thank you.